the Egyptian national team should consider um, paying back the money for every Egyptian supporter who turned up to watch that crash against Mali. For a team who I picked as potential winners and a team who I thought could really be one of the, the, the best teams for this Nations Cup, that was an absolute disgrace of a performance against um, Mali. So, first of all, sort that out. Okay, sort that out. So, Fatih, captain, one of the older members of, of the squad, push them forward. Trezeguet, who is a very good technical player, do better. Salah, mate, you're the star of the team. And as a superstar, you have to deliver. Look at what Rez has done. Look at what Bamayang has done. Please deliver. This is not living in, in the land of Trump. Things have changed now. It's 2017. Uganda... I was very impressed with what they, they did against Ghana, and I thought that Uganda could have at least taken in a draw. But I have no time for, oh, you played so well, or oh, good effort, or, oh, you know, you, you, you've done really good at a small team. No, I have no time for that. If, if that's what you're about, get the hell off my Nations Cup competition. No, Uganda got and win the game. Because Uganda, if you play the way you played against Ghana, but you actually take your chances, you actually connect better with it, because that's what football is about. It's about two stages. Can you create chances? If you can create chances, good. The next stage is delivering those chances. So whenever you are in a position, it's all about connection. You make a sweet connection with the ball. Okay? Sweet connection with the ball, your chances of scoring are far greater. So it's two things. Create those chances. Get yourself in those chances. And when you're in those chances, make the right decision, the right shot. Bottom far right instead of near post near post if you see the keeper isn't, isn't doing something it's those things and those things only come towards the, the you, you you have no time to think about them they come naturally that's why you've got to think about them before you're in that position position so you know that at second nature you're putting that ball far post you're you're driving it slow your body motion body technique and everything is on point because that's just stuff you should just know second nature so for egypt Better passing, better movements, the ball kept on the ground, better creation, higher energy, keeping possession of the ball, you know, much more creativity and image. That, that's the, what shocked me was that against Mali, the lack of imagination was shocked. I saw first 10 minutes was good. First 10 minutes was good. But then the second half was just atrocious. Zero possession on the ball. No ideas. No creativity. Salah was a ghost. You can't do that in the Nations Cup. Pharaohs, you can't do that in the Nations Cup. This is the Nations Cup. And if you do that against Uganda, Uganda is a team who are saying, no, look, man, we're doing this for our country. And it's, I saw a video of you of Ugandans proud to see their team. They know their boys are behind them. So they're going to come in here fully brave and ready to play. You know what? Let's get these guys. Let me not be embarrassed when I say this prediction. Because I want Uganda to win. I'd love them to win because I've got a special history with Uganda through my um, grandfather. Um, but let me... But, but, but this is not about sentiment. This is about reality. That's what the football hot is about. So I'm going to say Egypt are going to win this game 2-0. And as I say this, don't, don't make me look like a fool. So I'm going to say Egypt will win this 2-0. They'll find it hard. Uganda will have chances, but I don't think Uganda will take their chances again because I just think that, you know, this they, they should look for the next nation's goal. I, don't, I think this one made, made me too, be, made, be too soon for them, but this is a learning experience. Like how you're seeing with the Burkina Faso and their combo, they're slowly getting better with each nation's cup. I think Uganda, two nation's cups down the road, I think they will be a force to be re re reckoned with. Um, so I just think that we will see a better Egypt They've been criticized by their own fans, by their own Egyptians as well. So I think they will see a better performance from them. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 to Egypt in this game. Don't you dare make me look like a fool, okay? Because I don't like being made to look like, you know, a 